Our talk was uh, called OCT, um, a buyer's guide. So this it was really about trying to give people a little bit of a steer on if they're considering their first OCT, what factors should they consider? Buying an OCT is not something about buying a box with some tricks. It's about implementing it into a, a structured, efficient process within your busy automatic practice and how you can leverage that and both improve your clinical expertise, but also hopefully pay the bills. I often say, you know, the easiest part is buying it. Um, using it is quite difficult, and then interpreting the data is quite difficult, and then knowing what to do with that data is difficult. So think a whole system from front to back before you buy. I think the key to selecting a specific product is, is speaking to some end users, so some people who are already on the ground using that piece of equipment. And manufacturers will tell you what you need to hear to make a purchase, but people who use an equipment on any given day will tell you the pros and the cons. I can't even imagine practicing without an OCT now and the confidence level it gives you in both investigative stuff so in terms of detection of disease and then referral criteria and also in monitoring it so it's changed it beyond you know recognition really. Well, the three key things you should think about when purchasing an OCT would be do you have space for an OCT so does it have to be a combined camera and OCT or can it be a standalone? Can it talk to your existing equipment? Will it talk to your visual field analyzer and your existing camera? And how are you going to back it up? So you're going to create a huge amount of data very, very quickly. And it's good to have that IT infrastructure in place before the purchase is made. Go around them all, play with them, try capturing some scans, see how easy you think that's going to be as a practitioner or perhaps the clinical staff. Look at what comes with that box. So in other words, what's the software package round about it? And then talk to the company about how easy and how much support they're going to get for installation. Uh, and IT and backup. Technology is advancing at an, an incredible rate, so it's really important that people come to seminars and lectures at these types of events to keep themselves abreast of the latest technology. So you, you don't know what you don't know, and, and there are experts on hand that can guide you through that process. Uh, OCT has been probably the biggest advancement in recent years, and even that alone is now subdivided into lots of different forms of OCT. The advent of things like OCT and geography and anterior capabilities. So, so these shows are invaluable for educating yourself along the lines of those new advances. Well, I think the changes that's coming in OCT are, you know, it, it, it's, it's a bit like mobile phones, you know, every year there seems to be a bigger and a better one. Um, I think some of the new changes, particularly OCTA and geography, we don't quite understand what we're looking at yet. Um, but, you know, I think that's going to make a big difference in glaucoma monitoring in particular. Um, but, and I think the software and the reporting functions that we're getting around about it has improved dramatically as well. On a slightly cautious note, I think you know, the profession has to be careful about uh, data storage. Um, we're all buying OCTs um, and it, how you handle that data and how you store that data is something that people really do need to think quite carefully about.